Hello Aries, welcome to your reading. This will be a May love reading. The readings are all timeless, so if it resonates, it is your reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's see what we have here. Queen of Cups, you're feeling a lot of love for somebody, Aries. You have a lot of love for your person. They have a lot of love for you. It's very nurturing energy. It looks as though sometimes you feel challenged by the fact that your person doesn't show their love for you as much as you would like for them to. Um, it looks as though they, you feel as though they hold back on you. But overall, you know, it, it's, it's neutral energy and you don't really understand what it is about. Uh, the Two of Wands shows that there are times when you really feel as though you're not sure of the relationship or the future of the relationship. The Judgment card, though, says in the past that you want it to work out, that you are in it to win it, that you feel that your person wants it also, but you just don't really understand why there's this hesitancy to show you love with equal give and take. You know, when you're in it, Aries, you're totally in it, you're Mars-driven, but it looks like your person is more hesitant. The Justice card says that you're going to require equal give and take with the Six of Coins. It really speaks to the fact that you have a big sword. <laughs> you have a very big sword right there, and that if your person can't really give to you, you're a little bit um, mystified as to quite what you're going to do with it. The Five of Pentacles says that this relationship leaves you feeling left in the cold at times and you don't understand it. The Nine of Pentacles shows that the person you're involved with is very, um, they seem to be very financially secure. They seem to be quite satisfied with inequality, financial inequality, because while they're feeling abundant, you're feeling like, you know, you're just barely holding on in terms of finances. I'm getting, um, you know, when I get equal give and take, that's what you want. That's the ideal. Because I'm really seeing that you give a lot to the relationship uh, in terms of your love, in terms of your affection, in terms of service to the relationship. Um, but we see your person being, I think, um, selfish with their money. And money, I wouldn't say it's an issue, but it does make you think that they don't know how to love generously. You feel as though love is attached to the money or somehow their value system. And so what we see here is that you're staying balanced. You're trying to stay balanced. You love this person and, you know, you're independent, Aries. So at the end of the day, you know, this is a burden. This person leaves you carrying most of the burden, though. The King of Wands is Leo energy, and it really speaks to the fact that you just want to be happy. Um, but, you know, the Sun card is, you know, a clarifier on your outcome card of the Two of Cups. But I do feel, you know, this is a very disturbing card, this energy of the Five of Pentacles, you feeling left in the cold, you feeling as though you're, the person you're living with lives. And I, I, I just, that's so interesting that I said living with because you know for some of you that won't be the case but i get that for many of you this is the case because it's the queen of cups that's cancerian energy the hanged man is pisces energy so there might be you might be dating a pisces or dealing with somebody who has pisces the two of wands is aries energy the judgment card is um scorpio energy and it is also ruled by Mars. So, you know, you have great clarity with what you want. The Six of Coins is Taurus energy, so you could be dealing with a, a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. We have Libra. We have Taurus energy again. We have Virgo energy. So your person's very hard working. The Temperance card is Sagittarius energy. It is what you hope for. You hope to, you know, be able to overcome the odds to get your Two of Cups. Now, I would say that, again, you look like you're in union, you know, since that's your outcome card. The Two of Cups is Cancerian energy. But we do have the Ten of Wands here, and it speaks to letting go of a burden. And that burden is, is that you seem to have to beat the drum, and you seem to have to be the one to always bring sunshine and fun to the relationship. Your person seems to be very focused on themselves. 
you know, their bird, their stuff, their apple, their clothing. Um, and so let's go ahead and clarify this because that is creating a burden for you. I'm going to go ahead and clarify this with the Light Seers Tarot. So why do we have the Queen of Cups here for our beautiful Aries friends? Queen of Cups, the Tower card. So, you know, what you're seeing here is that you're starting to feel alone in this relationship because though the Queen of Cups is the situation as it stands, it looks as though there are frequent arguments within the relationship. You feel defensive, you feel angry, sometimes you feel like you want to move away from this person because they, they don't seem to get it. They don't seem to hear you, they don't seem to understand. They just kind of keep doing the same thing over and over again. The hanged man just says, yeah, well, I'm just hanging out here and I'm not going to leave and I'm not going anywhere, but I'm not really bringing a lot of energy to the situation. The temperance card is clarifying the, um, the uh, two of wands. So temperance card is here and temperance card is here. Those are both energies that look at your fears, your thoughts, everything that you think about this relationship. You want it to work out. You really do. You're very patient with this person. Why is a judgment card here? You feel in the past that they put you on the defensive, but you also feel as though this person is with you forever. Now, again, we get the Nine of Pentacles energy with the Devil, with the Eight of Cups, with the Two of Coins, with the... the um, the king of swords so what we're seeing here is an energy for you aries that makes you feel this person is obsessed with money they're selfish they have some toxicity that you know they're really focused on themselves and there's just times when you feel like you're being juggled with other things you don't feel like a priority that's what i'm getting here this does not feel like a priority and there's times when you think you should break up with this person there's times when you're ready to walk away but the love really it's almost like this person doesn't really do big things it's almost like this sort of nagging energy where they're just you know they're they're just sort of like this burden to you in some ways this person feels very heavy to you you know, everything sort of is their way. The toxicity with the devil card is very difficult. It challenges you. There are days that you want to walk away. There are days that you want, many days, you'd like to be a winner in this relationship. And sometimes I just don't think that you feel you can be a winner, a true winner. Now, would you rather have this person in your life than out of your life? Yes. But this is a very sort of, I almost feel like this is a almost like a marriage type. We've been together for a while. Things are getting a little stagnant here. I feel like that's the energy. The clarifier for the Six of Pentacles is the Queen of Pentacles. And what I'm seeing is that's your energy. I feel very strongly that you're very hard working in this relationship. I feel as though you know, you have a lot of clarity, and the Eight of Coins says, again, you bring a lot to the relationship, but you don't have the same status that they do. You're at the Eight of Coins, they're at the Nine of Coins, they're at the Nine of Coins. You know, they seem to have abundance and wealth in their life that they do not necessarily share, and they don't share a lot. Now, does this person have your back economically? Uh, you know, if something goes wrong, absolutely. Do they pick up the tab if it's needed? Yes, they do. They step up. But I want to see why the Five of Coins is here for you. Why is the Five of Coins here, the Sun card? You know, it doesn't, money is not what makes you happy, Aries. What makes you happy is somebody really, the Sun card twice, look at this. How beautiful is that? So the Sun card really speaks to the fact, Aries, that you're not driven by actual money. What you are driven by is your heart. What you're driven by is your desire to be loved fully. You want laughter, you want love making, you want the physical side of romance. You want your person to be romantic with you. You want them to, you know, bringing flowers is really nice, but it's not really, like you're not into material things from what I can see. 
basically what I see is that you want the emotionality, you want the dedication, you want someone who's there for you, you want the romance, you want the love making. And you know, and you want you like somebody who's very calm, and I do think that your person's probably calm. Um, so let's see why we have this Nine of Pentacles is here twice. Why is this person so into their money? The Six of Cups. They've been that way since childhood. I don't even know where to put this. <laughs> okay, so it looks as though from childhood, whoever their parent was or whatever really taught them, you know, like always make money, always save money, always have money. I feel very much that they were brought up in, with the idea of abundance. They know how to make it. They know how to save it. They, um, they know how to spend it too, but they're pretty good about spending on themselves as opposed to m the more serious parts of the relationship. Why, what about this equal give and take from your person? Yeah, see, they're coming up as a knight. They're not coming up as a king, okay? Your person's coming up as a knight, and knights are not as reliable as kingly energy here. So what does, who is the king of uh, wands here for our beautiful Aries friends? I think that's you, Aries, world card, yeah, I thought so. That person, your person likes to think they're enthusiastic, but I don't see them as being so enthusiastic. Again, with that Ten of Wands, you're carrying the largest part of the burden, whether that means doing all chores or, you know, whatever that means to you. Yeah, your person's a lightweight. Again, they're not really, you're really bringing on the kingly energy. You're the person who really looks forward into the world to see what you should be doing. The Three of Coins says that you don't have a lot of collaboration here with your person. You know, you're carrying the weight, you're carrying the burden. You know, to a certain degree, you certainly don't want to be out of the relationship, but here we go, there we go. There's a secret to their whole reading. The Ace of Coins, there's some really grave inequality in the relationship in regards to the resources. And the resources are, you know, who has the energy? You know, one person could be off work, but if the person who's working is doing all the housework and they're doing all the cooking and all the cleaning and they're working full time while the other person says, oh, you know, I saved enough money over here. I think I can just, you know, I'm going to take five or six months off and yeah, I'm all happy and I'm going to watch the television, hit that clicker button. And I just get this sense here that you don't feel like you're, you feel like you're in a union, but you don't feel so much as though you're in a partnership. So let's look and see what we've got here for the energy from your person. Let's see how they handle conflict because I'm getting that they're not so good at handling conflict. I don't think they like it if you point things out to them, but we'll see. Let's see. They see you as a lady, lady of unicorns, so they see you as highly desirable the crone. <laughs> if you tell them that you want them to carry their part of the chores, they see you like, ooh, you're being witchy and you're not being so nice to me. They see you as a queen of bedlam when you don't just go along to get along. I'm also seeing here that for you, we <laughs> they show their big behind. They really do when they go into that energy with you. So I don't think that you have the emotional support, you know, that you, you feel you need in this relationship to be truly happy. Do I feel like you're going to go anywhere? No, I really don't. Let's look and see what the, the Seven Energies cards from Colette Baron reed would recommend. So this really is... Um, in many ways, it's a very successful relationship. It looks like it has longevity, but it just looks like you're restless and dissatisfied, and you really would like to have more King of Wands energy around you. Somebody who's fiery, yep, exposed and revealed. And the, where did I have that? Yeah, here it is. Exposed and revealed. This person has shown themselves to you a little bit too often. You know, they're behind. So it does show that you're not in the union that you'd like to have, but you love this person. And because you love them, you know, you want it to work. Wish upon a star. Aw, Aries, wishing upon a star. 
wishing to have your heart fulfillment. She's holding her heart, and that's what the sun card rules is the heart. You know, you want your wish fulfillment. All right. So I'm going to take this to an extended reading and see how your person is feeling about you, seeing what their thoughts and feelings. So we'll reverse the cards and we'll do this from their perspective and see where they stand on all of this.